After watching another day of negotiations, we thought we might have an agreement tonight, but the Denver teachers in the school district are still just talking, and as of now, that strike will continue tomorrow. CBS 4's Karen Morford at the library, what's, where it's all happening. And Karen, there was a lot of progress today. Absolutely, Jim. Another marathon bargaining session here today. And while they have reached an agreement on many of the big issues, the devil is in the details. And that is what they're working on right now, which, like you mentioned, means that teachers will likely not be in the classroom again tomorrow. But what we saw here was they never really stopped teaching. If you're struggling on math homework, being in a room full of teachers is not a bad place to be. Just ask Samantha Mendoza. I just was writing my paper and I wasn't sure exactly if I was doing something right. For three days, Denver teachers have spent their mornings on the picket line, their afternoons and evenings in negotiations. But ask any one of them and they'd rather be teaching. So you're going to raise first by order of operations. Yeah. Okay. And if a student has enough gumption to come and support their teachers, we need to support them back. And that's what's in the heart of a teacher to always do. Jennifer Bacon is a DPS board member and Chris Kristoff is a kindergarten teacher. Mendoza, a student they've never met, but a student nonetheless. We do what we do because we love it. I think it would be so great to have them back before I finish this math <laughs> paper. A feeling many of the teachers have here as well. If they do not reach an agreement uh, late into the hours tonight, they will likely be back here again tomorrow at the same time. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.